Good morning, everyone. Can everybody hear me here? Is there, is there a radio on someplace? Oh, good. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Peter McPherson. I'm the chair of the board of the Partnership to Cut Hunger and Poverty in Africa. Welcome to this forum on building infrastructure and agribusiness through public-private partnerships. Let me recognize the African diplomatic corps that are here and our other very many distinguished guests, including travelers from various parts of Africa, the Philippines, Chile, and other regions and countries of the world. This is really quite an international gathering to focus on a set of issues with the expertise and interest that you all bring here. A very brief history of the partnership. It's over a decade ago that uh, key U.S. political elected leaders and a group of African presidents established uh, the partnership. The immediate issue at the time was that agriculture uh, was uh, was of reduced importance in the minds of the various government bilateral donors, AID and others, and the World Bank. And the group worked to expand public knowledge, information about the importance of agriculture and the whole range of inputs that went into it. We think we had some real impact on that debate over the years. And clearly, agriculture, once more uh, for a period of time, is of of significant interest to the donors. We had other projects dealing with uh, the rural economy and agriculture over these years. And it's clear now that PPPs are of central importance, infrastructure, and related issues. Hence the conference here this morning. And we'll be talking through uh, here what the issues, the ideas, uh, and also what happens next. I would make three key points that'll, that you might keep in mind as we go through the next couple of days, uh, expanded upon greatly. One, infrastructure is really important. Two, that we don't need to start from ground zero. There's extensive international experience, uh, very good lessons, and of course some lessons that that are helpful to avoid. We know a lot about how to do this. Everything needs to be refreshed and updated a little bit, but there are some fundamental lessons that we can take away. And three, that institutions are important in countries, continents, to do this. It isn't just a set of one-off deals. So with those three points in mind, let me get into a few uh, let me expand a bit upon that and what we're doing. Infrastructure, we've had substantial growth in many parts, many countries in Africa over the last several years. But there's a wide recognition that that growth won't continue uh, and expand and, and benefit larger numbers of people unless we take some further steps. And infrastructure, by all accounts, is one of those key steps, both infrastructure for the general growth of the economy and for the rural economy. We know also that, that this cannot be only public money. There is, unlike not many years ago, there is substantial private money available uh, coming into Africa. And the question, and so the, the private component of a PPP is a real possibility, needs to be really structured to take advantage of. We're going to hear a lot, uh, a lot from uh, various people at these conferences from around the world, as I've suggested. And we're going to learn some things. For example, this is not an exhaustive list. We're going to, need, we're going to learn uh, the need to develop critical institutions and policies that support this private-public uh, partnership. We're going to learn how to deal with cross-border and regional PPP investments. 
We're going to talk about the best approaches to expand rural electrification. The fact that we're here in this building, the NRECA, which has such a long and really illustrious history in rural electrification, is reflective of some of the things that we think we can learn. We're going to learn some experiences and lessons on harnessing geothermal power, which is now an important resource in Africa's Great Rift Valley, and much more. We're going to hear some speakers from, from, from some very successful institutions and programs. Success of the South African P3 program and USAID's role in building the national PPP institutions in technical capacity. Success of Chile in articulating, implementing, and sustaining the world's most advanced and successful PPP infrastructure program. Success of the American Development Bank and 12 South American countries in forming IIRSA to address cross-border issues in implementing PPP programs, certainly applicable to Africa. Success of the African National Electrification Administration's program over a 40-year period to bring electricity from 19% of the population to an excess of 85% of the population. Success of the Philippine Economic Development Corporation's effort to establish the Philippines as the world's second largest producer of geothermal, geothermal energy after the United States. Those and other stories we're going to be hearing about. So I go back to the three points. One, infrastructure is important. Two, there's some, there, we don't start from the beginning, but we've got lots of successes to look from, to learn from. And we need to build institutions, not just one-off deals. Now we need to have you all think with us as to what the next steps are here. We're very much, as we know you are, as individuals, as a group, about not just learning about something and better understanding, we're about getting it done. So as this next couple of days go on, think about what would be the appropriate next steps. Now our plans at this juncture call for regional meetings, East, West, and Southern Africa, in the course of 2015 to talk about these. And we think that's helpful. But what further things should we be doing? We need to work with the institutions that are here. You need to work together. This is really quite an unusual meeting to have this global expertise all pulled together. It shouldn't be just a one-off pull together. It should be a utilization of all this expertise and strength around the world to get it done. Ladies and gentlemen, I think this is going to be an excellent conference, and I'm so pleased you're all here. We have with us a very strong panel that I'd like to introduce, and they'll speak in this order. Uh, Benedict uh, Kanu, the lead agriculture expert of the African Development Bank. Uh, William Lukowa. A deputy CEO, chief financial officer of the Symbian Power Company, and Nestor Roa, chief transportation division, chief of the transportation division of the Inter-American Development Bank. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our panel. They'll speak to us, and thank you again for all being here.